Hi, welcome to Adobe SD Techniques. In this series, we will take a look at how to create a progress rank for a mobile user interface in Adobe SD. So if you want to follow along, let's get started. We will start by selecting these two circles and press Command C to copy and Command V to paste. Let's drag the two circles to the outside and press Alt to make another copies again. We press Alt to make another copy. We need three copies. Let's draw a rectangle by pressing R from the keyboard and click on the black arrow tool and position it just on top of the first circle. Let's make sure it's at the center of the circle because we are going to create a progress rank of 50%. With that done, I'll click around and select both shapes. From the inspector, I will apply the subtract boolean operation in order to cut the rectangle from the circles. From the inspector, I will uncheck the border and change the color to green. I'll select this shape and then position it right in place. So with the second one, we are going to create a progress of 75%. I'll press R from the keyboard and create another rectangle. I'll select the rectangle and position it on top of this. And since that is 75%, I'll position it right here and make sure it's at the center. I'll select both and from the inspector I will apply the subtract boolean operation in order to cut the rectangle from the circle. So from the inspector I will uncheck the border and change the color to green as well. I'll select it and position it in place. So we have the last one as 25%. To do that I'm going to create another rectangle by pressing R from the keyboard. I'll select the rectangle and position it at the 50%. So having selected that, the green line shows that it's now at the 50% mark. I'll release the mouse. I'll press R and create another rectangle and move the rectangle towards the center. So the green mark indicates that it's now at the center. I'll drag around all the shapes and from the inspector, I will apply the subtract boolean operation. I will uncheck the border and change the fill to green color. I will move it and position it just in place. So with this done, I've created three progress rings just in no time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more video in the future, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.